All right. It's time to head back to the mansion for one last thing. Because there is actually a, a set of double doors beneath the, the main stairway. That we weren't able to access earlier. Yeah. Yeah, in, 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 yeah, behind the stairs, there actually is a, 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 do, a set of doors we couldn't open because we didn't have the means to open it. But now we do. It involves the two stone and metal objects. Well, since the title is like it says, you want to know why I say? It's what? Did someone bring science? Of course. Oh, I bring headshots. Oh, that ain't quite science. I, I suppose that's kinetic science. It's still a science. It's a science in motion. Oh, God, I'm even doing it. You, you, you go do your LP thing. I, I'm going to go co-host with Spoonie and do something whenever the hell that happens. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Yeah, as uh, as we as I explained earlier, uh, the progenitor virus—that's what Lisa was um, injected with. As what Harvey transformed her, and it just gets worse and worse from there. Cause she was subject to experimentation for all of her adolescent life, and all that experimentation, she endured. Somehow she did. And the thing is, due to the experimentation. She developed more or less immortality. And by that means she pretty much be immune to all forms of gunfire and physical injury. Well, there's your perfect BOW you providing that you could pretty much chain her up and just drop her in a war zone. A far as yet you couldn't because her mind was too far gone. And it just gets worse from there. Because a certain thing happens that ends up, well, influencing the events of another game in the series. More on that later. Yes, indeed. Anyway, now that we have both crests, that means we gotta go into the main hall one last time. And that means we are now locked out of the courtyard, which means you, if you did not get a magnum, you're shut out of luck now. da 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 Alright. It's time to begin the beginning of the end. Or should I say the end of the beginning? And it's all the same, really, because at that point you're just mixing metaphors and coming off as pretentious, and it just comes off as really, really um, over dramatic bullshit. Let's just get on. No, I'm serious. This is the end of the beginning coming up. Well, yeah, but. But what does that make me? Um, someone who is about to witness uh, a rather painful boss fight, if you're unlucky. This is that point where you might want to save before this point. Because this is coming up an ending fork. Yeah. And they even have a save point, just to let you know, and a box right there for you. So they can actually access, so they can get the um, Eagle and Wolf medals. Which is good, which is good design in my opinion, than having to go all the way back and, you know, go, like, fuck along the way. Yeah, I use that a lot, but... Yes, I will save, because... Because, goddammit, I want to save. I want to save, and I want to save a comrade. Well, let's prevent him from dying. I want to prevent one person from dying tonight. I don't care who it is. Yeah. Anyway. Save successful. Transferring data to Resident Evil.net. It just... I think this might be the one game I can actually get a platinum on if I'm diligent enough. This file is corrupt. No, I'm, I'm serious. This might be the one game I can actually get a platinum trophy on if I'm diligent enough. Yeah. But of course, that, that means I'd have to do one more thing. Actually unlock the rocket launcher. At which point, that means I have to rush it on normal. Yeah. The best man for the job might be Chris, actually. Because I was able to pull off a faster time on his story. Hmm. Anyway. 
The only game I have platinum is Final Fantasy XIII, too, so... Yeah, that proved you have no life. What? You, you admitted that yourself. Anyway, here we go. If you want definition of no life, how about trying to get a platinum Jill. in Gundam Reborn? How about trying no that shit out? Barry. Why do you have the I gun behind you? I thought you were... Sorry, but she's not falling for it this time! Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Huh? Oh no. Bad timing. Uh. Ugh. Uh, you see her face beneath those uh, those masks of flesh. <laughs> oh dear. And uh. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Do it! Otherwise, he dies! Although he can still die in this boss battle. Anyway, it's a puzzle boss, actually. You gotta push these stones. Because you remember the file? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta push the stones, uh, you know, down below. Or you can have Lisa do it. And by the way, the Magnum is the only, mo only weapon that will actually phase her. The only thing that you can really do is just mostly a popper a few times just so that way help uh bad 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 day bad day bad day not bad day there we go oh she found her mother and so she says to end it all And there's also one more file in, in the, inside the coffin. Barry. You have some slain to really do. Dead. But now's not the time for that. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Well, with that being said, uh, he did protect her. Yeah. But yeah, there's time for explanations later. It's a letter. Hmm. It's from Jessica. Huh. Nutrition, eh? <sighs> Let's see. Well, of course, because, well, she had no idea she was going to die. I really feel sorry for this family. They got screwed the most. <sighs> so thus they tried to plan an escape, but unfortunately Lisa did not even get this letter. <sighs> because she was more or less killed shortly after. <sighs> now there's nothing left that's separating us from the lab. Let's go ahead to the lab now. Put an end to this. Oh, I hate these damn things. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know. But yeah, this place, this whole facility... I've I've seen enough of this place. I it's time to destroy, it's time to end this once and for all. So thus we need to start the wolf medal and the eagle medal. Yeah, oddly enough, it's eagle of north, wolf of south, as opposed to eagle of east, wolf of west. Yeah, it's just weird. I'll say. Here we are. Let's go down into the depths of the laboratory that, well, caused the outbreak. Yep, and caused so many, de so much death to occur. It's time to end things before things get even worse. Before we do that, we should probably pick up some evidence to see if we can do anything about it. 
If we can. <laughs> Who's to say that the evidence hasn't already been destroyed? I suppose. Emergency exit, huh? Will not open less than first class emergency. I wonder if that's a foreshadowing. Well, it is, considering that obviously we have no way of unlocking it. Unless we had, say, a master key. Or something else happening. Ah, increments. Um, yeah, there's increments on the ground right here. Ah, that noise is getting distracting. Hmm. Anyway. So, yep, and at this point, I'm going to break out the Magnum. <laughs> Because now it's time to encounter. Oh, actually, a... actually, no. Scratch that. I'm gonna grab the incendiary rounds as it later on. Grab the magnum. Because we'll have some new enemies to deal with. Mhm. Mm and in my opinion, they're in some ways kind of worse than hunters. Mm. Actually, in rebirth mode and deadly silence, you encounter more of them as opposed to hunters. Ah. Uh... I don't like them because they're annoyingly durable and they are hard to hit. And not to mention, if you do manage to kill them and they're still in the middle of attack animation, they'll still hit you. Uh, I noticed this when, uh, off screen, actually. Anyway, at the same in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I may not notice the, the slight edit there. Because I'm clever like that. Anyway, yeah, grab, <laughs> grab the MO disc as well. All right then, welcome to the Arclay Laboratory. Yeah, they even got a canteen here. But of course, because there are zombies here. That was lucky. Huh. Good shooting. This place doesn't change too much. Not that much. Oh yeah, actually, uh, in terms of Jill's Delta Force training, it allows her to have ex ex surprisingly good accuracy. I mean. Very good accuracy. It's actually, it's actually shown in a cutscene in the future in another game. Mm -hmm. I think you know what cutscene I'm referring to. Yeah. But that's not here nor there. Anyway. Of course. In there, that, there, there's a visual data room. But it's locked electronically. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to burn that zombie, I believe. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't think I decapped it. <laughs> I mean, apparently, I think if you actually do manage to kill a, a zombie corpse with the incendiary shells, it will still burn. Yes. It'll, it will pretty much guarantee a burning, and you don't have to deal with Crimson Head. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's see. Which we're going to go to? Let's go to this one. If I recall from the original game, um... Basically, there would be naked zombies, but they spawn ever so often. In the original game, yes. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this is actually an interesting puzzle here. Not a puzzle, it actually shows a, a, a solution to something. No, I actually know the uh, solution for the puzzle. It's just I want to show the, the audience the, the um, puzzle solution. Correct way of... Yeah. Leading alphabet. Yep. People forgot to put the... Um, Things in order. Okay, Alex Beckett. Okay. Ed Fisher. So, let's see. C and D. No, no, no. A oh, researcher's letter. What's this? My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I'll no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I suspected it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reasons just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach as a desperate pass. But if it has to turn out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material for the visual data room. Then after you the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything's still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I set a terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You'll need another password to release the lock of the door to basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I coded that password to an x-ray picture, a, a, re a retinogram. I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing. 
is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do have to run to me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John. Ada. Hmm. And and we're here. We're gonna find out the, the the password to the visual data room. Let's see. Let's please put an X-ray photograph. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. The the inflamed uh, bits of the X-rays are actually how we can actually find out the solution. Clark David, huh? Let's see. And this one, Gail Holland. Let's try checking this one first. Hmm. And what's the other one? Okay. Do you guys his liver? Yes. Yeah, I saw a like colon, esophagus, liver, lungs. I think we have our password. It's a pretty simple password. Yeah. It's cell. Yeah. But it's also, considering the fact that the order of the pictures is in A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. Well, there was also, well, actually, it, it, in terms of the alphabet, it was actually referring to the inflamed areas. Which also happened to be that way just as well. Hmm. Uh, hi there. Uh, damn, I gotta burn you too. Oh, there's a dagger here. Like we actually need it. Not at this point. What the? Oh, no. I hear another one. Yeah, there's another zombie. The door's locked. We need a key. Oh, yeah, there's a zombie here. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, it moved away. Oh, right that way. Let's see. <laughs> now, that takes care of the cremation. Yep. This track creeps me out as well. This is actually in the original game. Anyway, Magnum rounds. And there's one more file to grab here, but let's see what's behind here. Variety of chemicals you've never seen before. Battery pack. And I think people, I think test subjects, whatever, frozen? Frozen and injected. Anyway, log in, John. Password Ada. They show, like, has CGI, like, hands of <laughs> uh, well. Jill moving about. That always made me laugh and crack up. In the, uh, the original, you actually had polygon models of the hands that you running the keyboard. Anyway, Cell. In the original game, the password was Mole. Here we go. Visual data room is now unlocked. Did someone mention Cell? Not you. <laughs> but I am complete. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. What? And there's a file here. V Act. Researcher's note. They now have that what poses his consciousness, the body goes to a dormant state. Ah, describing the crimson heads. Well, it wouldn't make sense if we finally find information about them here. Yeah, they, they're called, they're known as V-Acts, but they they end up changing it to a much, much more simpler name. Yep, Crimson mm -hmm. Heads. But we're trying to feed it? Really? What? Okay. Anyway, what happened to this prototype? Yeah. Oh, Oh, that's I know what happened. They they put it in the in um in that crypt behind the main hall. Yep. <laughs> well, then again, these the scientists thought they could you know play God with this virus. Really, 
you 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 decide to go feed it and you actually put actual human beings in there and you go oh give it a steak <laughs> then again do we really know for sure anyway we gotta go head up to well actually yeah we gotta go to b2 and oh and learn those of cremation okay but let's take this umbrella corporation at this point is starting to sound more like how should i say it, it sounds like it's run by fucking dr evil at this point or a Bond villain, so this would not be too far off. No, I think they're more serious than that. Is that when he's back, a lot of these researchers. Well, I think at this point they had no idea what to expect from this virus. They thought they could control it. But obviously, you can't. Because this virus is very unpredictable. Anyway, there's the city shells. Anyway, uh, ooh, what's this? Facts. Just the facts. Sanitation Division, Attention Manager, Sanitation, Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fact are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fact to any third party should be forbidden by the sender. No copyright law is going to stop me. Except a gunshot to the head. What? So, several concerns, eh? More than half the researchers have been infected by the T-Virus and died. Oh, great. And what's the second concern? Their patrol team has been eradicated. So, they're, they're getting afraid that their research would be exposed to the public. And third concern? Oh, them. Let's see, what else is there? What? The success of the research results? So, yeah, they want to keep this secret no matter what. As such, they wanted countermeasures against whoever would investigate, including stars. Which is why no, which is no doubt why they put in that traitor. Anyway. Hey. It looks like a GameCube. Somewhat, but the, re but the resemblance stops there. Actually, it looks less like a GameCube now. Yeah. Oh, well. But you could still see that it has the same plug-in ports and everything. Slide filter. Which oddly kind of looks like it's the size of a GameCube disc. And actually, no. The, the slide filter themselves... Yeah, I'm just making sure... Make sure I burned it. Yep, I did. Anyway, no. Uh, the slide filter is actually used uh, for a slideshow. A slideshow that will actually be kind of interesting, as in this game most specifically, since it, you can actually access it in um, the original game just as well. Mm -hmm. Although you still need the slides. Yes. Anyway. Well, actually, no. The slide filter is actually for something different. No. Uh, we still get to see the slideshow regardless without the slide filter. It's just that with the slide filter, we actually get access to a, a puzzle solution. Oh, turn. I just want to come back. Too bad. Anyway. Visual data room. Let's see, uh, oh, there's one more item. ML desk, I'll gladly take that. First aid spray, but not gonna grab it. Here we go, what, what we have here? Umbrella, bioorganic weapon official report. MA-39 Cerberus. FIL-3 Neptune. MA-121 Hunter. T002 Tyrant. Oh, what do we have here? It was me all along. So, yeah. Captain Albert Wesker is a traitor. And here's why we need a slide filter 8462. Huh. Now you understand. 
the fact that we've been used by him the entire time. And if that wasn't enough, this is the icing on the cake. Security protocols. Heliport for executive use only. The restriction is not applied in the event of emergency. Basement level one. Patch to heliport. All on persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Hmm. Oh, the elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room. All other access to the visual data room is declared by Keith Arving, room manager. For use by special research division only. Basement level three. Prison. Sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith S. Ross A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. I told them to erase that on the note. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive Apple terminals located each section of the senior researchers deactivates the locks. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. The restriction may not apply to consult researchers with special authorization. Passcode Apple terminals. Use and access to the Apple terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Base level 4. Regarding the process of tire, progress of tire and administration of T-virus, eligible hereafter. You know, you pay an intern a whole thing of beer and so on, and he still doesn't erase a goddamn note that has my name on it. But yeah, there's the evidence that Wesker has been a part of Umbrella from the very beginning. In fact, he was, of course, one of the researchers of this place. Hmm. And now he had laboratory key. Or should I say, uh, key for the power area. Anyway, oh, image editing equipment. We can view Kenneth's film here. So, well. so what was Kenneth Sullivan's last moments? Wow. You really suck at shooting, dude. He didn't stand a ghost of a chance. Oh Ugh. god. Ugh. Well, this is definitely for mature raid audiences. Quite. But, yeah. Kenneth Sullivan, he was of course the oldest member of STARS, a field scout, brilliant chemist, but he really couldn't shoot the broadside of a barn. As we've seen there, considering the zombie was right in his face, and he could well, have stuck he... the gun in the zombie's mouth and blew his head off. Well, then again, he was panicked. But then, then again, that doesn't excuse the fact that he should know what a zombie is, but then again, to them, to us, you know, to, to them at this point, zombies are just fiction. They're demons. Ouch. Anyway, there's one more door we can unlock with the power area key. Right here. This might be important. Very, actually, because this will lead us to another output terminal. Ooh. Where we need to use another MO disk. I hear something. I hear something very, very unpleasant. Um, oh, we have more shotgun shells at least. Yeah, oh yeah, there's that. Let's go in here. So what's in here? Huh? What the hell? Oh fuck! These bastards! Chimeras! I hate them. Well, this didn't hurt that bad. What the? It's Rusty Shadow a bunch! The operating chair is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. I'm gonna say more than likely it was the Chimera. Who knows? Oh, great! More of them! Damn! They're much more annoying to deal with in the original game, though. Yeah, because these guys, obviously, they infinitely spawn from uh, air vents. Not just that, but uh, they can actually attack you while they're on the ceiling. Yeah, that's part of the massive annoyance I have with them compared to, say, hunters. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, fortunately, if, you, if you're, you do get strangled, you can use defensive items. 
Especially flash grenades as Chris. Oh, yes. Anyway, watch this. There we are. Alright then. There's also one last save there's one last save room here too. Oh by the way, in terms of the power room, it's annoying. For one reason only. Well, two reasons, one of them being the chimeras. Oh did anybody like that puzzle back in Castlevania 64? If you don't know what we're talking about, well, don't worry, you'll get a reminder. Uh if you want a reminder easily, uh Go watch the nerd do that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Boom! Anyway, Naked zombies now. They're slightly stronger and slightly more damaging. But they're helpless against incendiary shells. Huh. So being naked actually makes you stronger on this planet. I <laughs> guess. Shut up, Raditz. Now we're gonna break out the Magnum. Because. Because the shotgun, I don't need it anymore. I'll, take the, I'll keep the grenade launcher with me as backup. Let's see, Magnum rounds. I'm gonna need to save my game as well, eventually. <coughs> oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. More, more grenade shells. Ooh. But yep, yeah, next part will be the end of Jill's story. And technically, it is Christmas in July for Jill. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, she's not gonna have that much of a nice time because, well, let's say things were are gonna just go from, things should go from bad to worse. Ah yes, they will go from bad to worse. Anyway, let's save the game. Seven saves. I have won. <laughs> Not exactly as planned. Not in the way that you think. <laughs> anyway, enough. <laughs> anyway, enough overacting. Because <coughs> that's what you get a coughing fit. <laughs> anyway, see, see you guys in part 10 for the end of Jill's story. Ha <laughs> ha